the last piece of nucleus removal in mature cataract is known to be the most notorious for the posterior capsule surrender that is PCT laxity of posterior capsule is mainly noted in patients with mature cataract reminiscent cataract and patients with zonulopathy due to pseudo exfoliation idiopathic senile zonulopathy or zonulodehiscence long chopper and kelman tip in which the tip is pointed backwards increases the chances of pct leaking wound is another factor to cause the posterior capsule to move forward resulting in an inadvertent posterior capsule tear let us see how not taking the necessary precautions may result in posterior capsular tear here in this video the last nuclear fragment of white mature cataract is being emulsified using a kelman tip and the vacuum settings of 500 mm of mercury and a flow rate of 36 cc per minute note the leaking side port and the long and sharp chop as soon as the capsule cornices are empty the posterior capsule has a tendency to move forward watch how the capsule is moving forward the posterior capsule can be seen caught in the phaco probe folds appear in the posterior capsule leading to an inadvertent posterior capsule tear let us now see how to manage the case of an inadvertent posterior capsule tear before you withdraw the phaco tip inject some viscoelastic to avoid the vitreous prolapse in the anterior chamber Filling the AC with viscoelastic pushes the hyaluronic phase back, and now we can remove the fake probe. Now make two side port incisions away from the site of PCT. The vitreous has a tendency to prolapse towards the incision, and therefore we remove the cortex and epinuclear plate away from the site of PCT where. there is least possibility of presence of vitreous our first aim is to remove the epinuclear plate that is away from the site of pct because epinuclear plate has a tendency to drop into the vitreous cavity after the epinuclear plate removal we are more confident to remove the cortical matter with bimanual irrigation and aspiration technique as in this case the hyaluronic phase is undisturbed here we can see that the rex is small the rex is now mature cataract was intentionally made smaller as it tends to run away in mature cataracts now we will enlarge the rex with the charter screws and sub incisional side we have implanted a three piece iol in this case as three piece iols are preferred choice in patients pct because the tear may get enlarged and therefore three p sire can be placed in the sulcus if need be but here we are implanting the iol into the back as the hyaluronic phase is intact and there is no vitreous prolapse into the anterior chamber now put the drilling haptic in the back remove the viscoelastic along with remaining cortical fibers if any now close the wound and that is the end of the surgery let us now see how to ideally perform the last nuclear fragment removal in a case of a mature cataract here we can see an eye with a mature cataract phaco emulsification is being performed with a large chopper and a kelman tip always remember at the time of last nuclear piece removal inject some viscoelastic injecting visco pushes the posterior capsule back and the viscosity of methyl cellulose leads to decrease in an effective flow rate now divide the large fragment into two pieces either with the same chopper or with a smaller one now notice that i have removed the chopper from the eye to prevent the leakage from the side and single handed fecal emulsification is being performed the vacuum settings have been lowered from 500 mm of mercury to 
400 to further prevent the movement of the posterior capsule forward. Lower the vacuum settings even further to 300 mm of mercury and now remove the remaining part of the epidural plate with a rounded repository. You can now remove the fake tip after injecting the best balanced. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe our channel.